Hey Dasha, so I'm going to show you my latest conundrum, which I don't mind moving the heat mat because that's just a heat mat, but I got all the heat mats in and this area in blue is the only area there is not structural stuff in the van to drill a hole for a drain. So with the pan that we have, um, if we were to put it all the way against the wall like that, it goes down, but we would not be able to use the HEPVO because of its size. So I don't know if right here we want to consider making like a drain with a cap and the cap always goes on when you're finished and then you don't have to worry about any smells or anything. Um, we still have to find a way to drill a hole though for the sink because there is a piece of uh, structural, you know, integrity steel here for the van that we can't just go around because then the drain doesn't have fall because the drain is above that, if that makes sense. So I'm just trying to brainstorm what to do. Um, my thought is, is that the sink would have a drain that came down and rode on the top and then dropped down like into a corner like this and then uh, that would have like a cabinet built around it so you don't really see that uh, for the drain, for the sink, so that it can go in there and that can be attached to the HEPVO. Uh, and then for the drain, the shower pan, um, we could do the same thing, but maybe have the shower pan install, well, because remember it's removable like this, but it's pretty far away from the wall then. And then you'd need to put like maybe a temporary magnet or something that you can attach a shower curtain here, but then the shower hose on the wall would have to come in while you're showering over this area. Anyways, um, I just know that we can't go outside of this area for the drain. So let me know your thoughts and we'll uh, brainstorm it.